All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about this question and how I notice a lot of students will overkill the solution to this question. I'm going to do it using logs, which is how you're normally taught to do this. And I'm, I'm going to go pretty quickly um, on the assumption that you've already seen this before. And then I'm going to show you how to do it using just your exponent rules that you've been working for a lot longer with well, a lot longer. And you'll see how much faster it is. So if you were asked to use logarithms, your teacher would have probably said use the action of logging. So log both sides. Then you use your log laws. You've got a product there. So you've got to pull that apart using the product law, which is the log of 3 plus. Now the log is going to act on the 2x, 2 2 to the x. So the log of 2 to the x, and that's equal to, same as here. You can use your power law here by bringing the x minus 2 down, leaving the log of 6. All right, so far so good. And there I can also use the product law, the power law as well by bringing the x down, writing it as a coefficient. So the log of 3 plus x log 2 equals, then I can expand that through. You can see there's a lot of algebra here. Now to somebody who does this all the time, it's not a big deal. But for a lot of you, you don't do math all the time, so this can be a little bit daunting. Anyway, now I've got two terms with an x, and I've got two terms that don't have an x. So I'm going to bring this over, and I'm going to move that over. When I do, I'm going to pull out an x. I'm going to factor an x out. So I'm, I'm just going through the steps fairly quickly here. Minus the log of 6 equals negative 2 log 6. This goes over, becomes negative log 3. Okay? And then I can divide, this becomes the coefficient. So x turns out to be negative 2 log 6 minus log 3. The answer looks ugly. All over the log of 2 minus the log of 6. Okay? And then your teacher may mention that since four, three of the four are negative, you can turn all of the signs opposites. Um, your teacher may then require you to write it as a simple log. So you can see here, the two can come back up, becoming log 36. Add means time, so that's going to become the log of 36 multiplied by, the, by, by 3, all over the log. Now that's a, that's a takeaway, so I can think of it as the log of um, 6 um, over 2, which is the log of 3. I'm using my laws here without getting into a lot of explanation, and so here you can see that's the log. Well, 36 times 3, 18 carry the 1, so the 108, base 3. Okay, so that's how you would do it using the log laws, which I think is quite demanding. I'm going to show you how to do this a whole lot faster using your exponent rules that you've known for three years and you're getting good at your exponent rules. So let's take a look at it using the simple method. Okay, so here we are with the question again. I'm not going to use my log laws. I'm going to use my exponent rules because typically you're going to be better at your exponent rules than your log rules, okay? Unless your teacher requires you to use the log laws, and then that's kind of an awful situation. Be careful, the 3 and the 2 cannot be multiplied together, okay? This is a single power, that's 3 to the 1, and that's another power 2 to the x. What I'm going to do is I'm going to think of it as 3 to the 1, as I just said, multiplied by 2 to the x. Now over here, I'm going to use my exponent rule, but in the opposite direction. That's going to be 6 to the x times 6 to the negative 2. Now I know that's true because typically you think in this direction. If I said if I'm multiplying two powers with the same basis, I add the exponents, you would add x and negative 2. But now I'm taking the rule in the opposite direction. So I'm pulling the power apart when the exponent is a binomial. Well now watch, I can now isolate. See the 2 to the x and the 6 to the x can come together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 6 to the x. 6 to the x, 6 to the x. These are going to cancel off. I don't have to worry about division by 0 because these powers can't be negative. And also, see the 3 here? I can take that over to meet up with the other side. Before I do that, though, I'm going to take this and I'm going to remind you that that's the same as this. Okay? When you have two powers and the exponents are the same, you can combine them in a divide kind of way. So I can write it that way. 
and then over here I've got 6 to the negative 2, which by the way is 1 over 6 to the positive 2, right? I'm making the exponent positive. And then I can, um, I've got the 3 here. The 3 can be divided, so I can think of dividing both sides by 3. So that means divide by 3 means put the 3 in the denominator. All right, this is looking pretty good. Now 2 over 6 is 1 over 3. 1 over 3 to the x equals, well, 6 squared is 36 times 3 is 108. And now I just, now this is the only place where I use a log rule. I rewrite it. This is in exponential form. Now I write it in log form. So the log form says the exponent is a log. Do you see? The log of the argument 1 over 108 base 1 over 3. And by the way, that's equivalent. Notice that I've got the base as 1 over 3 and the argument is 1 over 108. Both can be flipped. There's a rule for that. Or you could just play with it and uh, rewrite it that way. And you can see I got the same answer as I did. That's so much faster. So what I want you to do is start looking at your log questions that you're getting in probably your senior algebra courses in, in high school and some of you in university and rethinking them in terms of your exponent rules. If that helped, slap a like on this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you right back here in the next video.